In this video, you are going to learn how to apply the seamless transitions on your footage in Premiere Pro. Coming up. Hey, Harshwardhan here from harshwardhanart.com. As you know that in the previous video, we have learned how to apply the default audio and the video transitions on your footage in Premiere Pro. But in this video, you are going to learn how to apply the premium seamless transitions pack, which has thousand plus elements. You can download this seamless transitions pack from the link in the description section below. Seamless transitions are very famous these days. Using the premium seamless transitions, you can stylize your footage and make your footage stand out from the crowd. And before we go any further, let's see what is included in 1000 plus premium seamless transition pack. Let's have a look. So without further ado, let's get started. Once you have downloaded this transition pack, seamless transition pack, you need to unzip that folder. And once you will unzip that folder, you will see this kind of a folder, seamless transition version 5.0. Just double click it, open it and inside it, you will see a folder called the Premiere. So just open it and you will see a list of transitions pack which is available over here. It has the transitions for 2K footage, 4K footage, 4K Ultra HD footage, 6K footage. It has the transition for full HD or HD footage. It has the transition for GoPro. It has the transition for the Instagram which is the 1080 by 1080 and it has the transition for Instagram ads and it has the transition for the vertical footage as well. So you can see that it includes the transition for almost any kind of a popular footage resolution these days. So you can apply that on any of the footage. So first of all, what you have to do once you have just opened this folder, First of all, you need to open the transition which matches with your sequence resolution. So how would you find your sequence resolution? Go to your Premiere Pro, go to the sequence on the top and select the sequence setting and here you will see the resolution or frame size of your sequence. So it's 920 by 1080 that is the full HD. So I'm going to apply this on my this footage. You can see I have a sequence of certain footages and I'm going to apply this. This is a full HD footage so I will select this one full HD 1080 1920 by 1080. So first of all let me just close this project and thereafter what I have to do I have to open this transition full HD 1920 by 1080 so I'll just double click and it's going to open up so that's going to open that project in the Premiere Pro thereafter you need to save it so you can save it or you can rename it with any other name or just overwrite the existing project so thereafter just go to the file and select save and once it is saved you need to just close the project 
it is very important that once you open it and you need to save this project and thereafter close all the project and then open your project on which you want to apply this seamless transition pack it's very important that you resave your project otherwise premiere pro will not find the footage so once you have just opened the sequence on which you want to apply the seamless transition pack what you have to do you have to just click import that transition into this project so how you can do this once you have saved it resaved your project just click and drag it over here and that's going to open up a dialog box here you need to make sure you select the create folder for imported items and plus check the allow importing duplicate media it's very important and thereafter just need to press ok it's going to take little while to import all the transitions along with some footages so you have to just wait for a minute it depends on the speed of your system as well and once it has imported these transitions you can see you will see this kind of a folder transitions full hd 1920 by 1080 so what you have to do just open this folder and here you will have the color presets you have the motion presets and here you have the transitions so we need to come to the transition so we'll click on this arrow to open up these transitions back so here you have the zoom transition glitch transition flat camera warp spin perspective stretch panoramic and it has uh, around 16 transitions so you can apply these transition and if you want to see the preview of these just open up that folder by double clicking it and it inside it you have lots of other folders as well like anchor zoom elastic zoom elastic rgb split so if you want to see the preview just double click that folder and inside it you will see again another folder and here you will see all the sequence but here you can't see the preview so in order to see the preview you have to click on this little icon which is the icon view so just click on this and you will see the icon the preview of each transition so just hover your mouse from left to right or right to left to see how the transition looks and now it's ready to be applied on our footage so the it's the very important thing which you need to do first first you need to just uncheck this insert uh, this sequence option so what it does it basically allows you to import the sequence as an individual clip so you need to just uncheck it to make it gray but if it is not gray it is not going to apply this transition pack over here because that's that way it is going to import these footage into the timeline as the individual clip which will not work this transition so which will not make these transitions to work so let me show you second thing which you need to do is you need to just disable the video one track because over here you will see this default footage if you don't check it let me just show you what i mean if I click and drag any of that so you can see here it's going to import this footage as a individual clip rather than as a transition and you can see our footage has been replaced by the default footage which is included in the transition pack so it's not going to work so what we have to do we have to just undo it or delete it and make sure you come over here and uncheck this video one option all right and just because we have not disabled this sequence as a nested individual clip option it is going to import the footage as the individual clip so we need to uncheck it so we are going to uncheck it by clicking on this little icon so it should be gray and thereafter what we will do we'll click and drag this transition over here and you can see now it has imported the sequence as the sequence so it has lots of clips in it and it's very important that you place this cut right above the cut of your different clips or from where your clip starts so you can see if i just place it little bit on this side or drag it on this side the cut of the transition is not matched with the cut of the clips so it will not give you the perfect result or may not give you the good result so in order to get the good result you make sure you match this cut with the cut of your clips let me show you with another one let's say this one so let me find another cut on my timeline this 
clip ends over here and second clip starts so what i will do i will click and drag it over here and if it is not matched over here you can see we have to perfectly match it and then it's going to look good and now if we just play this transition you can see the transition is very seamless and it looks good if i show you without it let's see it you can see it's not looking that good but if we apply any of these transitions so let me show you another transition so let's say the glitch transition and i'm going to go for the glitch bad signal so i'll just double click it that's going to open it and i'm going to select the icon view and i can see the glitch transition how it looks let me click and drag it over here and if i just play it you will see this glitch is happening over here and let's try another one over here on the second clip which is over here so for this purpose let's see let's see this one so i'll click and drag it over here and you can see immediately the same has been applied so let's try on the another one and this time let's see another transition so maybe let's see we will try the spin this one and uh, spin center so i'll just double click it click on the icon view and see how it looks all right so maybe this one so i'll click and drag it over here and if i just play it you can see and you can see boom the transition is now seamless and it looks amazing so let's try another one spin corner click on the icon view and see which one looks good maybe this one all right so i'll click and drag it over here and see how it looks boom yes an audio effect is also included with this transition pack so you don't need to apply the audio effect this is how we can use the seamless transition pack which has thousand plus elements for any kind of a footage or for any kind of a project you are working on using this seamless transition pack you can easily give your footage a stylized look very easily so it is very easy to use all you have to do just drag and drop on your footage and the transition is instantly applied so you don't have to do much in this case so if you are interested go ahead and download this transition pack from the link in the description section below so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing because here you will find lots of exciting tutorials like this so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative venue